hello everyone we'll be making liquid soap in this video subscribe to my channel love my videos let's get started the chemicals required for our soap making have all been measured this is my sulfuric acid in the um, bottle i have the texapon measured here then i have my caustic soda the nitrosol um, have, this is my soda ash in that so these are the this is the color i'm going to be using and i have my um, perfume in that small bottle so let's get started okay so today we're going to start to make our soap now i've already shown you the ingredients that we are going to use now because we have some ash ingredients in those stuff we need to always wear our gloves when you want to work so that you avoid them touching your hands so today i'm going to be working with 50 liters of water now this bucket is 30 liters of, of water i'm now i want to make 50 liters of water so i have an extra bucket here which has the 20 liters of water so i'm making 50 liters of water so as you can see i'm taking our water into another bowl because i'm going to be mixing the chemicals separately now into this bowl I'm going to be pouring in my caustic soda. The, the soda is a very ash ingredient, so you try not to allow it to touch your hands or any of your body. So just mix until you're satisfied with the mixture. And you notice the chemicals have dissolved. So I'm going to set that aside once I'm satisfied with my mixture. So into another bowl, I'm going to pour in water and um, I don't have any specific measurements for this. Just take from your 50 liters and just divide appropriately. So into this bowl, I'm going to add my soda ash into it and mix until I'm satisfied with the mixture until I can't find any of the chemicals there so you keep mixing until you're satisfied with it i'm going to set this aside and then move to other things so i want to prepare an empty bucket so i can mix the rest of the ingredients i'm pouring in my sulfuric acid into this i have one liter of that so i'm going to pour everything into an empty bucket once that is done, I'm going to prepare my texapon. These ingredients are the foaming agent. So this is my texapon. I'm adding it to the sulfuric acid and I'm going to mix both of them together. So to the remaining batch of water, which is the 30 liters, I'm going to add my nitrosol. So this is a thickening agent. I'm going to add it to the large batch. Please note that you need a large batch of water to mix your nitrosol so that it doesn't have lumps. So you just mix in gradually, stir in gradually till you can't find any of the chemical in the water until it's smooth and the mixture is clean so remember i have this little water i set aside i'm going to mix in my color and also pour in my perfume into that water that's um it's like a pink color so just light pink and i'm pouring in my perfume i'm using um lavender and rose oil you can use any perfume of choice i think it all depends on you so just mix that in set aside and we move to mixing all the ingredients together now we can see our chemicals have settled in we are pouring the 
caustic soda into the sulfuric acid mixture so we are going to mix that together I'm also going to pour in my soda ash mixture too I'm going to pour it into that batch and you can see it has started foaming just ensure you mix in well until you are satisfied with your mixture you can see it has started foaming I'm pouring in my nitro so I needed extra hands to ask my son to help me mix so the nitro saw is a thickening agent as I told you earlier on so I pour that in and I mix until I'm satisfied with that mixture just ensure you mix vigorously until you get your desired um, results I'm pouring in the color which also contains the perfume and I mix you can use any color of your choice this um, liquid soap has really been of great help in my bakeries because you know you do a lot of washing even at home you do a lot of cleaning and this is a must have for every home for every ba bakery just wait for the result our soap is ready our soap is ready thank you all for watching see you all in our next video remember to subscribe to our channel click the subscribe button and I can't wait to see you in our next video. Cheers. Take care.